Today on the channel, we play a game of death with the challenger, Bruce Lee, Super 7, Ultimate Edition. And the spirit of Ultimate Warrior will run forever! the channel for another Super 7 Ultimate Edition unboxing and review and today on the channel we've got the challenger we got Bruce Lee but for all your Bruce Lee needs and a whole lot more make sure you're hitting up Entertainment Earth use discount code Kyle save yourself 10% on all in stock items and the over $59 does ship free got to get a deal out there and that's exactly what I did pick these up at Entertainment Earth save 10% right off the bat and I picked up both Bruce Lee figures so check out the other one on the channel make sure you subscribe to the channel while you're here all that kind of fun stuff as well but of course we're gonna do this unboxing like we do all the other unboxings on the channel we're gonna take a look at the packaging we're gonna talk about it we're gonna unbox it we're gonna talk about it we're gonna see where it goes from there so without further ado let's take a look at the old shipping container box we always get these with super seven the old challenger right there looking good and then we get old super seven typical packaging design here for old bruce lee the black and yellow attack uh, gun to my head the most iconic look of bruce lee some people may say the Kato looks. Some may say the other Super 7 Ultimate Edition one. Maybe that's his most iconic with the white kind of wife beater on with the black jacket over the top. To me, it's this look here. But we do got that on the front. On the back, uh, some Chinese writing as well. I believe that's Chinese. I don't know. I don't know. It is. It's Chinese to me. There you go. Uh, but definitely cool. But then, of course, the slipcase cover looking real nice. Off to the side. A gentle. See you later. There it goes. Big window box here. Absolutely do love that. Tons of accessories with this one. And then looking good. I love the yellow and black attack. Like a young striper here. Bruce Lee, huge striper fan. He might have died before they formed, but we want to hold that away from a good story. That's for sure. But definitely love the black and yellow attack here. Looking really, really nice. On the sides, nothing too fun. And then on the back, get a little uh, glamour shot action going on back there. What's it say about old Bruce Lee? Also, got to cut this open here. Got to cut it open. There we go. It says, Bruce Lee, the challenger, the legend, master of Jeet Kune Do. Oh, there you go. Somebody's got to master it, and I guess Bruce Lee did. Kind of made it famous, almost invented it in a lot of ways, as we know. Very cool Game of Death background there, because this, of course, is from the famed Game of Death movie as well, Plastic Prison. Look at all those hands. Oh, my gosh. It's a, it's a who's who in the hands department is what we got going on here. But this is a very iconic outfit for Bruce Lee. Like I was saying earlier, this is from the Game of Death movie. Of course, Game of Death, I always remember it from him uh, facing off with Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Oh, he's going to get some revenge for the Celtics is what he's going to do there. But, of course, Kareem squaring off against uh, Bruce Lee there. Just an interesting one with Bruce Lee being five foot and change against, uh, you know, seven foot tall Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Quite the showdown. Quite the showdown there. Uh, no doubt about it. And Bruce Lee, of course, one of the most inspirational and famed martial artists of all time, especially in the movie department. Uh, a lot of people inspired by Bruce Lee. A lot of people loving Bruce Lee. His legend looms large into this day, as we do know. A lot of people love themselves for Bruce Lee. Myself included. Myself included, which I talked about in the last video a little bit. There we are. We're pulling out the old challenger himself, Bruce Lee. We're going to go see you later that way with that one. And we're going to stick him off to the side. Very interesting. Got some stuff to talk about with this one, and we'll break it all down. But first, let's look at all these accessories once again. Hands have it. All kinds of hands with this Bruce Lee. We're getting the most out of our molds and a little bit of this stuff. I'm seeing some reuse between the last Bruce Lee, which we unboxed on the channel, like I said. But we're getting the hands here. We got the open hands, the wide open hands. Got to say also, we got the Fists of Fury for Bruce Lee right out of the package. Always here for that. Two karate chopping hands. Maybe a saluting hand, but most likely a karate chop. A karate chop. You got to do it. Got to do it. But you've got some gripping hands going on here. We got two gripping hands, of course, for the nunchucks. We got another kind of a karate chop hand with a little bit of hand. Some kind of gang symbols going on here. I don't know what's going on there, but he does got some of that going there. There's the old Ronnie James Dio hand. Just not totally committing. He's starting to commit, but he's not all the way there. He doesn't want to go all the way out. 
But we do get that, of course, in tribute to Johnny, Ronnie James Dio. Bruce Lee, huge Dio fan. I think, if I'm not mistaken, somebody correct me if I'm wrong, he was a big fan of Elf. Yes, Elf, Dio, one of Dio's early bands out there. How about that? Uh, then we do got another open hand here. And then we got the two-finger hand once again. Give him the old, come on, bring it on there. And then we got, of course, another gripping hand. So choose your own hand adventure once again with old Bruce Lee. Then we get his weapons here. And what is this? This is like a... It looks almost like a kendo stick of some kind, like bamboo or something. And not ringing a bell for me, uh, but definitely interesting there. It just looks like a little stick of action, but it's not like a Donatello bow staff or anything. Uh, but a nice teal color for this one. Definitely an interesting weapon. Then we do get down to the nunchucks department. And I am happy to report different nunchucks that we got with the last one. Those ones had chains, things like that. This is a little bit of this and that going on. So we do get one here with a real yellow rope in between. You got the yellow and black attack. Looking really nice, but these are like a real nunchuck. You got one here in a little, oh, you got the same one once again, but you got a little holster right here to hold them into. So we do have that. You can store one pair away. Doesn't look like he can store this anywhere. I guess he could hold this if he needs to. So we do have that. And then we do get the plastic ones with the plastic uh, cords in between. Uh, definitely better for figure photography for the most part, I would say. So we do get choose your own nunchuck adventure here with old Bruce Lee. So now we're going to dive into old Bruce Lee, the challenger. Like I said, very iconic yellow black attack jumpsuit here. Of course, also brought back uh, in Kill Bill, if we remember that, kind of a famed look from Kill Bill. I think even Becky Lynch in the WWE had an outfit inspired by this at one time. I believe that was the case. But definitely an iconic look to this one, no doubt about it. Even down to what are these, Asics shoes? I mean, they don't say Asics, but I believe that's the kind of Asics design, if I'm not mistaken there. Uh, but definitely cool. You got the black racing stripe on the side, the yellows. It pretty much is what it is. We know what that's all about there. So looking really, really good. Of course, articulation, arms go all the way around, bicep cut, single jointed elbows, get a little of that back and forth on the elbows. He does got a little uh, wristband here, so when you pull the hands off, be careful, this could pop off if you're not mistaken. Got the hands back and forth, side to side, looking good. Hula hoop at the top, traditional waist, big old Bruce Lee splits, man, we're here for those splits right here. Single jointed knees, back and forth, eh, you get a little bit of back and forth there, side to side, not too much though. And you get the ankles up, down, back, forth, side to side. Of course, does he fit on a ringside collectible stand? Use discount code Kyle. Save 10%. What do you know? He fits perfectly on a Mattel stand. If that's the direction you want to go with him, he does fit perfectly there. Now, a little bit plain Jane in the body department, of course. I mean, you take Bruce Lee's head off here. You know it's a Bruce Lee outfit, but you can put somebody else's head if you really needed to on here. But getting down to the head here, of course, we got Bruce Lee in his very stoic look. A lot of reuse going on here, it looks like, but very stoic. And that's the cool thing with two different Bruce Lee figures. You got three, four different heads between the packs. You can mix and match, mix them up if you need to. This one, pretty plain Jane, pretty stoic. This is probably the direction I'm going here. He's got the screaming open mouth face going on. I don't know if this head looks as much like Bruce Lee as the other one. Maybe it's just because of the elongated face and the mouth being open, but nice teeth and tongue. Same hairdo throughout on this one. Of course, the Bruce Lee hair t haircut. The mop top, almost like a young uh, George Harrison out there. But definitely looking good. I think I'll probably use the screaming head sculpt, and then we do get another head sculpt here. We got that kissy face Bruce Lee head sculpt on this one, so we saw that before as well. So a little bit of difference here, but of course you got to imagine Super 7, Mattel, whoever it is, getting the most out of their molds at the end of the day, doing the same thing with old Bruce Lee right here. Uh, but definitely a cool looking figure. Now, Super 7 does get a, a rap a lot of times, and I guess it's deserved in a lot of cases, that they don't have a ton of articulation, but as you can see, Bruce Lee could be doing some big old splits if he needs to. That's plenty of articulation for somebody like me. There's some different stuff you can do with this one. There's no doubt about it. And as I said in the last review of the other Bruce Lee figure, these feel a little bit smaller than I was anticipating, but that does make sense because at the end of the day, Bruce Lee was a little guy. He was not a giant. Uh, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, giant. Can we get a Kareem figure to match this? I would be here for it. That would be a true game of death at the end of the day if we could do that. But for the sizing of Bruce Lee, this works for me. I got no issues with this. This looks really, really good. Now, if you're a huge Bruce Lee fan, these are a must-have. If you're an ancillary fan, I would say I'm a fan, but I'm not like a, a 
Boss Rutan fan where I absolutely love everything. I'm doing everything Boss Rutan. I've seen all the Bruce Lee stuff, I think, for the most part. I've seen the documentaries, but I wouldn't call myself a super fan by any means. But super fans are going to want to pick this one up. I think a lot of people would like a little representation of Bruce Lee. Mix it in by himself. Mix it in with your wrestling. Mix it in with your turtles. There's a lot of ways you could go. Or you could have a super crazy shelf with some G.I. Joe, Transformers, you name it, from Super 7 Ultimates line. But definitely a good-looking figure right here. We do got the other one here that we just unboxed as well, so you can kind of see that. Obviously, a lot of similarities, a lot of height differences, or same heights between these two, I should say. Definitely looking good. Picking uh, picking your uh, kids is what it kind of feels like to me, but really gun to my head, I'm probably going to the Game of Death. I'm all in on the Game of Death look. I think it is really cool, and I love the fight. Out of all of his fights, I like the Chuck Norris fight. And I say fight like they were real fights, but obviously they were choreographed. They know what was going on, but... Uh, the Chuck Norris fight was always a favorite of mine, and then just the look between him and Jabbar going at it was just very iconic for a little kid like me at the time, seeing clips of that, and just couldn't believe what I was seeing, because Jabbar looks so crazy, really, at the end of the day. So there you go right there. But then, of course, we had the Diamond Select, Bruce Lee, we talked about as well there. And then, I guess, just for a Super 7 Ultimates comparison, size comparison here, we got Matt Cardona. Uh, right there. So I think that does work. Scaling wise, I think this is about perfect here for this Bruce Lee. I got no issues with it. So very, very cool between the two. Game of Death, probably going to be my favorite Bruce Lee. But what say you guys out there? What are you thinking on these Bruce Lee figures? Passing on both, waiting for a deal, picking up one, picking up both. Let me know in the comments down below. Of course, you made it this far. Don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Turn on the old notification bell. And don't forget about the Patreon for early access to videos like this. Bonus content, exclusive content, giveaways, Q&As, you name it. It's all over there on the old Patreon channel. Speaking of uh, supporting the channel, you can also go to ProWrestlingTees.com. Search Kyle Peterson. Don't forget social media, SirPaul64 on Twitter, Instagram, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson. Same thing for threads. If you're into the threads, same as Instagram. So there you go. So for the challenger. Bruce Lee, I am Kyle. See you guys all real soon.